They also hold the knife by the blade or the handle end as you're working on the knife. So these will be a practical pair of tongs, especially if you're a knife maker. Today's video is sponsored by Ken's Custom Iron, home of quick tongs and rapid tongs. The other day in the mail, I received some goodies from the folks over at Ken's Custom Iron. They sent their Viking Knife Bundle, and this bundle includes a set of blanks for their knife tongs, and these can be used on any kind of knives, not just the knife that they intend this bundle to be used for. It includes a handheld butcher, which is a necessary tool for making the Viking style or blacksmith's knife. Some people call it a lady's knife. Lots of different things these go by. It also comes with three pieces of mild steel that you can use to practice with so you don't have to waste a nice piece of tool steel if you're just learning to make knives. And one piece of W1. And this is a piece of quarter by three quarter by six inches. So it's basically six millimeter by 20 millimeter, oh, by about 150 millimeters long. Kins includes the rivet and some written instructions, as well as some videos over on Ken's Custom Iron site that will help you assemble both your tong blanks and make your knife. But we're gonna go ahead and make the tongs first. The first thing I like to do with these pre-cut tong blanks is just clean up the reins a little bit. They're kind of sharp and angular. And of course you could grind this, file this, whatever you wanna do, but I like to draw them out and round them up a little bit, at least down in here usually leave them kind of octagon or with the corners just knocked off a little bit. We're only going to look at drawing out the reins on one half of this pair of tongs since they're both done the same. Those reins should be a little bit more comfortable to hold on to. The next thing I want to do is draw out this little flag section, this little tab that sticks out here. It needs to be about an eighth inch thick so we can then wrap it up into a U shape. And that makes the part that actually holds the blade. For now, this looks the same on both sides. But after this step, the left side and the right side of the tongs will be treated differently.
The next thing we need to do with these is bend this little tab over into a U shape and that's what will actually hold the blade and we'll do that mostly in the vise. Ken recommends a piece of angle iron in the vise to bend over. This raises the whole thing up just a little bit, make it a little bit easier. I'm going to use one of the pieces of mild steel that were included with the kit as a form to work this around. The other half is done the same way, but bending in the opposite direction. The next thing we need to do is put a little dog leg in each of these so that they line up this way and clear the boss. That way the blade material can slide all the way past here. So this one that's on top here needs, a, needs less of a dog leg than the one that's on the bottom. Hope that makes sense. And if it doesn't, hopefully it makes sense when we're all done. That one needs to go just a little bit further. Any more adjustment I'll do after they've been assembled. Make sure there's plenty of room to get them to work right there at the boss. You can either punch the holes or drill the holes. I'm going to go ahead and drill them. Do a test fit and make sure everything looks like it's going to work right. Final adjustment will be after they're all assembled. Go ahead and start setting this rivet cold. It's just a quarter inch rivet, so it could be done cold entirely. That'll keep that from falling out while I heat it in the fire. There's going to be some adjustment to be made here.
As these cool, I'm going to put a little bit of beeswax on there. That helps lubricate the joint, protects from rust. That's a little bit too much smoke, so I'm going to let them cool just a little bit more. But other than that, that completes our pair of knife tongs. And these should hold a variety of different widths. That's a piece of three quarter inch wide there. This is inch and a quarter wide. But if you need anything wider, you probably need another pair of tongs. They also hold the knife by the blade or the handle end as you're working on the knife. So these will be a practical pair of tongs, especially if you're a knife maker. Once again, I would like to thank Ken's Custom Iron for sending out their Viking Knife Bundle, which includes the knife maker's tongs. Tune in next week and we'll make a blacksmith's knife or a viking knife, ladies knife, whatever you want to call it, and we'll use this pair of tongs to do that. In the meantime, I hope you have time in your day to get out to your shop. Stay safe, wear your safety glasses. We'll see you for the next video.